a North Carolina war hero was nearly erased from our history. I mean, he was probably the most important African-American leader anywhere in the South during the Civil War. His name is Abraham Galloway. He escaped slavery, worked as a spy for the Union Army, built a network of spies throughout the South, fought against the Ku Klux Klan, and became one of the first African-Americans elected to office. When he did t speaking tours of the North, he didn't introduce Frederick Douglass as the main speaker of the night. Frederick Douglass introduced him as the main speaker of the night. Galloway was born in 1837 in what is now Southport. It's a village south of Wilmington. When he died in 1870, his funeral was the largest in North Carolina history. But a few decades later, his legacy had been dismantled and his memory pushed into the shadows. What happened, and it's a central part of North Carolina history, is that beginning in, in the 1890s, early part of the 1900s, we get a new vision of what our past was like. Happy slaves. In that vision of our history, there's no room for a man like Abraham Galloway. He was a proud African-American insurgent, brilliant, who fought like one of the great guerrilla leaders of world history for the freedom of his people. Today, Galloway is making a comeback. Historians like Dr. David Soselski uncovered Galloway's story and now he's making his rightful return to the history books. Galloway is now part of all of our heritage. He's this figure that's kind of half Tom Paine and half Che Guevara or something, and, and he's ours. You know, he's a part of African-American history, but uh, to me, he really represents resistance to tyranny, tyranny and oppression of all kinds that we can all look up to. In 2013, Wilmington put up a historical marker honoring Galloway. The North Carolina History Museum also recognizes his contributions to our state and country. The last thing I'll say is, is that if we can miss Abraham Galloway, and nobody knew who he was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, um, who knows what else we've missed. I think particularly for young people, for students, the excitement and the importance of that kind of historical discovery awaits them. And I don't just mean, I mean yes with African American history, but also all kinds of things. Is that in many ways we've been denied much of the best parts of our past and places and things that happen that we can draw strength from, inspiration from, uh, get a better vision of who we are as we try to fashion a future in this crazy new world that we're in.